In this video, we're going to learn how to print the positive numbers in an array using C. The first thing we'll do is declare an int array called array, which will initialize with the numbers negative 1, 5, 7, 0, negative 3, 45, 67, negative 78, 2, and 1. So in this array, we have 10 numbers total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this array has a length of 10. We'll declare an int variable called length to store this number. Now to print out only the positive numbers in the array, we'll create a loop to examine each array element. And only if that array element is a positive number are we going to print it out. Now each array element is stored at an index. So for example, negative 1 here is stored at the index 0, 5 is stored at the index 1, 7 is stored at the index 2, and so on for the rest of the elements in the array. Now, because the array has a length of 10, that tells us the last element in the array is going to be at the index 9, one less than the length of the array. So we'll use that to make our loop condition. Now we use a for loop, and we'll use a counter variable, which we'll declare, int i, and we'll set that counter variable initially equal to 0. We're going to use this counter variable i to go through each array index. So i is initially going to be 0. And with each loop iteration, we're going to increment i by 1. And each time the loop body runs, we'll check to see if the element in the array at the index i is greater than 0. If it is, it's a positive number, so we'll print it out. Otherwise, we won't. Now eventually, we are going to want this loop to stop. We'll stop the loop once i is no longer less than length. Because if i is no longer less than length, that tells us we've gone past the end of the array and we can stop. Solve the condition here, i is less than length. And we'll continue the loop so long as i is less than length, and we'll increment i by 1 with each loop iteration. So we continually check the next element in the array with each loop iteration. Then, in the loop body here, we'll check to see if the element in the array at the index i is greater than 0. If it is, that's a positive number, and we'll print it out. So in the if statement body, we'll call the printf function to output the number. We'll use the string here with percent %d to output an integer followed by backslash n for a new line. So we're going to output each integer on a new line. Then we'll have the integer in the array at the index i. So then, if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here only the positive integers in the array as output. And what's happening is the loop is examining each array element. And only if that array element is a positive integer do we print it out. So we don't print out negative 3 here or 0 but we do print out 45 here. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function, so we could call the function in different places in our program. We'll declare the function up here. The function is going to have a void return type because the function is not going to return any values, it's just going to print out values. Then we'll call the function print positive. The function will accept the array as an argument, so we'll have int array for that parameter there, and the function will also have the array length as an argument, so we'll have int length for that parameter there. We'll then copy this and paste it down here. And then for the function body, we're actually just going to take this logic here and cut it, and then paste it into the function body. Because we've used the same parameter names here as our variable names from before, so it's going to work as it is written. Then here we could call the function. We could have print positive, and we'll pass it our array and the length of the array. And then if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll again get the positive numbers from the array as output. So this is how we can print the positive numbers in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.